All right, all right, we are live. Yes, yes, yes. How's everybody doing? I'm Terry and Hawkins here. I am the passive income guru. I'm going to wait for a little, um, for a few people to, to come on here. If you're coming on, please go ahead and announce yourself. Where are you tuning in from? Hope you had a great weekend. This has been a uh, very busy day for me. I've, I've been meaning to go uh, face on Facebook Live here earlier today, but uh, been a little busy. So I want to talk to you guys for a second. What's going on? Meredith, Ruth, Christine, thanks for coming on. Got some news for you guys. Got some news for you. Got some news for you. Where is everyone tuning in from? Hey, Diana, what's going on? What is going on? All right, folks, if this is your first time here, let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know uh, who you are. Would love to connect with you. Again, my name is Ontarian Hawkins. I am the passive income guru coming to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, a lot of you don't know me. Uh, maybe you've been watching me on the sidelines. Maybe you found me uh, maybe on YouTube, on Instagram. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, so a uh, little bit about me. I got started in the home-based business over 10 years ago, 10 years ago. And it's been a, a, it's been a great ride ever since, folks. It's been fantastic. Uh, the reason I say that is because I had some ups and downs, lots of ups and downs, lost a lot of money, been scammed, you name it. Uh, name any, any MLM company out there. I probably was a part of it. Um, got started in my early 20s. And I had a goal to retire at 35. Well, uh, that goal was hit actually before 35. I retired before that time, and the rest is history. But I was, but here, here's the deal: I was a college student back when I got the the entrepreneurship bug. College student, I had a dream that I didn't want to work for the man the rest of my life. I, I grew up watching my mom struggle. Uh, I lived out of what's called the yellow envelope, the yellow envelope. Uh, basically what that is, just real, real quickly. Every time that my mom uh, and I would go to the store, grocery store, uh, go to buy school clothes, um, I would ask for stuff. You know how kids get, mom, can I have this? Mom, can I have that? So my mom would always give me this look. She would give me this look, and then she would dig in her purse and pull out this yellow envelope, okay? And this yellow, I can, I can remember it like it was yesterday. I came to find out that the yellow envelope, the yellow envelope was, was money. It was money in, in that envelope, but that money wasn't, it wasn't liquid cash, it was bill money. And you know what? She would sacrifice some of that money to, to meet my needs, to make her son happy, to make her son happy. And uh, that happened with, you know, as we went and bought groceries, I would ask for candy bars and chips and things like that. She didn't, we didn't really have it at the time, but she sacrificed because she loved her son. And that is what I mean by live out of the yellow envelope, folks. Uh, I didn't want to live like that um, when, I, when I got older. I, I made up in my mind in the early age that I was going to, to, to basically uh, make a way to where I didn't have to work the rest of my life. I was going to create my own economy. And folks, if you're not creating your own economy right now, if you're not in the process of creating your own economy, guess what? You're helping someone else create their economy. How does that sound? You're helping someone else create their economy. You see? And I believe in the next five to 10 years or less, folks, this world when it comes to, you know, working jobs and whatever job you do, it's going to, the technology is taking over. Trends is taking over. Convenience is taking over. I mean, uh, I posted probably two weeks ago that uh, a local Walmart in Texas is being shut down 
Walmart, folks, out of all places. And, and, and today, if you go in Walmart, you will see the checkout lines, the self-checkout lines getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Why is that? And the workers are getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. Well, it's simple. Trends, convenience um, is taking over, folks. Trends and convenience is taking over, are taking over. Technology. You look at Uber. You look at Netflix, all these companies. Amazon is putting folks out of business. Sears, JCPenney's, Macy's. Why is that? Because people are doing, people are shopping online. They love, people love convenience. We're busy. People are busy these days, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys that introduction. Now you're probably here because you're like, what in the world is going on, Ontarian? 30-day success formula is shutting down? Are you kidding me? This company, we, we just found out about this company. I just joined this company about a month ago and they're shutting the doors? Tell me it's not true, Ontario. Well, here's the here's deal. Here's the deal. Let me just see. <laughs> my wife said, you still ask for candy bars. <laughs> Honey, hey, could put my, my babe, my, my wife did put me on blast on, on my live. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hey, if you're tuning in, welcome, welcome. Uh, if you're late, don't worry. You can replay this back over and over again. So let me just let the cat out of the bag, folks, because you've been you've you've been very very excited about what you've seen so far with 30 day success you probably already sent off your package today yesterday or a couple of days ago to join 30 day success and now you get the news from me that they're shutting their doors well let me just say this right now before you get all excited because some of you are about to have a heart attack <laughs> okay the truth is this 30 day success formula is not shutting their doors, folks. 30-day success formula is not, they are not shutting their doors. And the reason I brought you to this video is I want to ask you two questions, two very important questions, because I knew, I knew that this title would get some attention. I got over 60 something people on this live video right now. I knew that this title and I, I know there's critics out there. I know there's naysayers out there. I know there's folks that's ready. I mean, if if the 30-day success formula was a person, it would have been assassinated by now. Let me say that one more time. If the 30-day success formula was a person, it he or she would have been assassinated by now. Because there's critics everywhere, folks. There's, there's negativity everywhere. Everywhere. There's critics on Walmart. There's critics on, on, on Facebook, about Facebook. There's, there's critics and naysayers who talk down on uh, uh, Walmart. There's critics and naysayers that talk, talk down on Starbucks. There's going to be critics and naysayers every, in everything that you do, every single thing you do. Ask your family member, ask your closest family member to join you in the business. I dare you and watch what they say. Oh, that's a scam. You can't, no, 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 no. Just work your job, sit down and shut up. That's what they're going to tell you. That's what I was told. My family members, my friends, when I first got started, folks, they laughed at me. They was like, boy, hey, you're crazy. You are crazy. So if you are getting ridiculed for starting a business, it's normal. It's absolutely normal. <laughs> you guys almost had a heart attack. I got some, I got some folks laughing. <laughs> so here's the question. Here's the question. Are you leveraged? Are you fo What are you focusing on? What are you focusing on? I want to talk about that first. Because if you're just focused on package opening parties and the money, guess what? I'm going to tell you the honest truth you're not going to make it very far. If the package parties, if, if that's all that gets you excited, that emotional high is going to go away. Okay? 
You can't be focused on the money. The money will come. And let me tell you, let me show you and tell you how the money is going to come, how, the, how you're going to get cash in the mail. The money is going to come when you start to serve other people, when you help other people get what they want, when you give people a skill set. Listen to me closely now because there's a formula to money. The formula is not getting, it's not taking. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, right? The formula is actually giving. What can I do? What can I do for you today? How can I serve you today? What can I get? What kind of what skill can I give you today that's going to help you increase your business? Folks, people on my team in 30 Day Success, they are winning because I've given them. I'm, I've given them some secret skill, some skill. They're not secret. They're just simple skills, simple, basic marketing skills, along with the offline strategy. I have a lady right now, I talk about her all the time, who is killing it in the offline game. She has a, I'm not going to name her name. I'm going to do an interview video with her soon. Her mom has dementia. Okay, her mom has dementia, and all she can do right now in the business is, is mail out. She gets, and she does mailings consistently. And guess what? She's getting consistent signups through the mail, folks. Her mom has dementia. What's your excuse? What is your excuse? There is no there, there are no excuses. There are there is no competition. The only competition that you're going up against is the person you look at in the mirror every single day. That's the truth. Every single day you look up and you look in the mirror, that is your competition. You see what I'm saying? So here's the deal. What are you focusing on? The package parties? Or are you focusing on increasing your skill set? That's what you need to focus on. Focus on being consistent. Focus on 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 you know if you want to learn direct mail great we have a blueprint in our training that that can help you learn how to master the offline game to get results but you got to believe it's going to work for you don't worry about aunt sue down the street don't worry about uncle bob what uncle bob is doing worry about what you can do your abilities how many hours a week are you willing to put in to build a legacy you see what i'm saying so that is what I'm talking about. Okay? That is what I'm talking about. Now, that's 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 my spiel for what are you focusing on? The second the second question I asked was are you leveraged? Are you leveraged? And for this for this part of the presentation, I'm going to share my screen. I want to share my screen. And we'll, I'm going to talk about leverage, folks. I really want to hammer this home. I really, really want to hammer this home. So bear with me just a second. Bear with me, bear with me just a second, okay? All right. Are you leveraged? What does that mean? What does that mean? I got some mean faces. Somebody's mad at me, boy. <laughs> Somebody, hey, I, I apologize, <laughs> okay? If you're mad at me, I apologize. Hey, let me share my screen. One sec. All right, here we go. So my, my second question. Now, let me just say hypothetically speaking, because we cannot guarantee the future of businesses. We already know that. Let me just put it straight to you. We cannot guarantee that a business is going to last forever. We want it to. I mean, again, I go back to Walmart. Walmart, of all places, in one of the biggest cities in the nation, Dallas, is closing. Are you kidding me? So we can't, we can't, you know, you've heard, you've heard the saying before, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify. Multiple streams of income. If you, if you rely on one stream, let me give you let me let me bring it home a little bit further for you. If you if you work a job, you have let me draw this out for you. Let me just draw this out for you, okay? 
this is going to make a lot of sense. So at a job, you have what's called a CEO. Okay. Now, all the way at the bottom, you have what's called employees. Okay. And I get people all the time, you know, when it comes to businesses, what I do, the type of businesses I do and what I've done in the past, I, there's one word that people throw out there that they have no clue what it means. Oh, that's a pyramid scheme. There's a pyramid. Folks, do you know what a pyramid scheme is? You know what a Ponzi scheme is? Let me just, let me just educate you for a second because here's the, here's the deal. It's a lack of wisdom. Our people perish because of lack of wisdom, a lack of education, a lack of knowledge. Check it out. P.S. And by the way, this model right here is known as linear income. This is linear income. Okay? Linear income. What is it? What does it mean? Employees. You got employees down here. This guy up here is making all the money. He's making all the big bucks. Guess what? While the employees down here are working hard, 12, 14 hours plus a day, some people seven days a week, guess where this guy is? He's on vacation somewhere in Fiji. And this is what got... You got to get upset sometimes. You got to get you, something has to move you to do something. Some when I when I understood this, I got mad. I got upset. I, I was like, you know what? I want to go from here to here. What about you? So here's the deal. In this model, the money flows all the way to the top consistently. Okay? This guy up here is making six, seven, eight figures. What are they making? Huh? Who told you? Who, who? This person is telling you how much you work financially to them. And here's the deal. This person has created their own economy. These folks down here, you're working for his dream. How does that make you feel? You're working for his or her dream. How would you like to work for your own dream? You see what I'm saying? How would you like to work for your own dream? The money flows to the top, folks. Okay? You're not paid what you work down here, but this guy's making buku of money. And he's on and he's at Fiji. He's in Fiji on an island sipping on lemonade and barbecuing at the same time. And he's making passive residual income and he's leveraged. He's leveraged, okay? Hopefully I, 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 I hit that home with you. Let me go to another street. Now, you wanna be leveraged? This is how you do it. P.S. and by the way, what if 30 day success formula shut down today? Are you leveraged? Listen up or lessen up. Here we go. You know where leverage income is? Leverage income is what you want to tap into before you start making passive income. Let me say that one more time because you guys, you guys are probably thinking, oh, you're the passive income guru. What are you talking about? Listen. Leverage income is what you want to be tapped into or generating before passive income. Why? So here you are. I'm going to put you here. You. Because you, if you believe it, you're, you're the CEO. Okay? You're the CEO. Leverage income is when you join an opportunity and you bring in, let's say you bring in Sally, right? Okay, for this example, I'm gonna use another business that I'm in called the Six Figure Stamp Club, okay? I'm gonna put it over here so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Six Figure Stamp Club, 
okay? <clears throat> if you don't know what a six-figure stamp club is, don't worry. It is a membership opportunity. It's a membership. It's like a Sam's Club. You become a reseller for buyer's leads for people who are in the offline industry. You can resell those leads at a, at a for a profit. Uh, you can have people join you because you become a reseller slash an affiliate. You can sell the membership to other people and say, hey, I see that you're in a direct mail opportunity. Hey, I'm in, I'm in a six-figure stamp club. I'm able to, to offer leads to you, okay? And I'm, I can show you how to not only get more cash in the mail, but also stamps to help offset your business costs. That's what the six-figure stamp club does, okay? So let's, let's take the six-figure stamp club, for example. Sally comes in and joins you at the $300, at the $300 flyer, okay? Joins you. Guess what? If Sally joins you at the black level flyer, let me get black because we're talking about black. If she joins you at the black level flyer, which is the $300 flyer. And I have to tell you this before I proceed, folks. I have to. If you wasn't on the conference call last night, you missed it. Okay. I gave my testimonial. Uh, about the Six Figure Stamp Club. I'm also still doing the 30 Day Success Formula. I, I work both of them hand in hand. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. They go together like uh, 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 hamburgers and fries. They go together like hand in glove, okay? Now, black level, $300 flyer. When, when Sally joins you, you get 300 bucks. Get another color here. 300 bucks and guess what you also get three books of stamps three books of stamps so right now we have a promotion going on that's ending tomorrow the promotion is you join at the black level flyer for 300 dollars you're gonna get automatically upgraded to the pearl level, which is the highest level, the $1,000 flyer, okay? At that point, you're able to earn up to, to, up to $1,000 per transaction plus a lot of books of stamps, okay? Along with the other lower levels. That promotion ends tomorrow. Now, here's the deal. Even though it ends tomorrow, if you send in your payment, Tomorrow, in its timestamp for tomorrow, which is the 30th, you will still get, you will still be honored with that upgrade. Okay. You will still be honored with that upgrade. Just want to give you that heads up. Okay. All right. Now, where does the leverage come in at? Here's where it gets real, real exciting. Sally decides to bring in Joe. And say, say Joe joins at the black level flyer, just like Sally, okay? Sally's gonna get 300 bucks and three books of stamps, okay? And three books. Here's where it gets crazy because you didn't talk to Joe you're going to get, check this out now, you're going to get $100 and you didn't talk to a soul. You see that? That, my friend, is called leveraged income. Leveraged income. When you decide to go to work and all you need, you don't need everybody. That's, that's the great thing. You don't need everybody. You can bring in three folks who see what you see, okay? And they can go to work. And guess what? You start to get those leveraged payments coming straight to you. I don't know about you, but that's exciting. And you, you may be wondering, you know, I've never seen this business model. Yes, you have. If you've been to McDonald's, you've seen this business model. How many franchisees does McDonald's have? McDonald's is leveraged, folks. 
Walmart is leveraged. Starbucks is le- why do why do they open up? Why don't they open up just one store and stay with one store? Because they understand the psychology, they understand the wisdom of leverage. It works. And once you get leverage, folks, and you get that cash flow coming in, guess what? Now you can take some of that cash flow and start making passive income, invest it, and start making passive income. That's the whole name of the game. But you have to get the leverage part down first. Okay? So I'll go back to my original question. What are you focused on? What are you focused on and are you leveraged? If you can answer both, both of those and you, and you can put yourself in the right position with both of those on, on how I explain it to you, your destiny financially is going to be super duper duper good. Super duper, that's, that's the word that came to my mind first. It's going to be extravagant. It's going to be exhilarating. It's going to be rewarding. It's going to be a legacy that you, that you build because that's what it's all about in the end. It's about being, building a legacy. It's not just about making money and package parties and things like that. It's about building a legacy. What can you pass down to your kids? And, 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 and what can you pass? Duplication. Duplication. We're, we're breaking a generational curse here, folks. It goes deeper than, it goes, it goes deep. It goes deep. Okay, so that is my time. I wanted to share that with you before I, I got offline. I had to share that with you. I would have been, I would have done you a disservice if I didn't share this, share this with you. Okay. Um, so guys, I appreciate you for coming on. I really, really do. Give yourself a hand. Give yourself a round of applause, standing ovation. I really appreciate you coming on, hanging with me at 824. Hey, uh, <laughs> Steve. Hey, Steve said, "Really, I, I, I about had a heart attack as I'm in the middle of printing my next mailing." I know some of you. Hey, don't look at this video. Don't look at this video before before uh, seeing a physician because she might have a heart attack. Okay, <laughs> so get get some get some uh, get some help. Or, or go get some medicine or go get some prescription before you look at this video, especially if you're looking at it after the fact, um, because you might, you, you might, your heart might flutter for a second. You know, I don't want that to happen. I don't want you to pass out on me now. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are a, 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 a class act. I would, I don't know what I would do without you. So um, it, today it, it's your choice. It is your choice. Right now, the ball is in your court. And my last words to you is this. Don't rely on one company to make it happen for you. Diversification, multiple streams of income, that's called wisdom. Okay? God forbid something happens. Something happens and, you know, business shut down. It happens. It happens every day. Businesses shut down all the time. It shouldn't, it shouldn't surprise you at all. But you got to have a nest egg. You got to have something that you can fall back on. And I want you to focus on the skill set. Well, whoever you join in these businesses, 30 Day Success, Six Figure Stamp Club, make sure they're giving you some skill set. Not just showing you, hey, this is what I made today. Okay. That's not exciting. My, my excitement comes from who can I help today? Who can I help today? And when I, when I have people come in my inbox and they say, I'm Terry and I got, my, I got another package on the way. I, I, I have people who have, folks, I've lost count on how many people that's joined me. They're having success literally every single day, every single week. And I get more excited about them than myself when I get packages. That's honest truth. Why is that? 
because I stand behind the quote that Jim Rohn said, you're the late, late, great Jim Rohn. Help enough people get what they want and you will get what you want. It's about service. It's about giving. Give and it shall be given unto you. That principle, folks, is that it's, it's real. It is absolutely real. Give people, give. And it's not just monetary. It's not just monetary. Give your time, give your energy, give, give your talent. Give what you folks, I've struggled for years in this in this game. And, and the last thing I want for people to do is to struggle. So I'm gonna give them what I know. Hey, this is what I know. I struggled, you know, for years before I had a breakthrough. I don't want you to struggle like that. I'm just gonna give it to you. My, my, my old mentor told me this, and it's the same concept. What you give away, you get to keep. Simple concept, but it works. What you give away, you get to keep. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay? So that's what it's all about, folks. Thank you so much. Again, give yourself a round of applause for sticking and staying, for being focused, for stepping outside of your comfort zone, for really making it happen. This is your year. You got to believe it. And nobody else can take that away from you but you. So let's make it happen. If you're on YouTube, which this video is going on YouTube, the link to join either one or both of my businesses are going to be below this video. I look forward to working with you. God bless all of you. I enjoy all of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your night. Take care and God bless.